okay okay so again uh, so after that course so student they will be capable enough to create a ai model so this model will be uh, troubleshooting things right whatever you are getting there for example consider so i have a kubernetes okay in my kubernetes uh, one pod is keep on restarting i don't know the issue okay it can be maybe config map error it can be maybe some other issues <laughs> there are multiple issues right i am not able to remember all the issues in my mind so uh, my ai should inform me moreover ai should give the scripts ashik this is the problem so you have to do this okay instead of working my brain i i this ai should work and ai should push all the resolution for me over email or slack whatever it can be so e I am. So will students will be able to create this? Uh, so that's one question. Not only for Kubernetes, it can be for C C D pipeline. Maybe they are implementing uh, data warehouse tomorrow. So whenever they have an issue, maybe database query, uh, some slowness query, some something is happening, right? So there they have to implement this, and whenever AI detect this, so they'll get this. So can we do this? Hello all. Uh, good evening. So my name is Akil. I am working in Bosch and Simmons Home Appliances Group as a cloud and AI engineer. So my day-to-day -day life includes, uh, you know, working cloud. So we use AWS and Google Cloud in uh, in our organization. So most probably I will work both with both of them. Also, I you know work on uh, let's say DevOps stuff like uh, uh, handling GitHub Action pipelines. And also my other you know role in my organization includes a backend developer in one of the major you know AI platforms in BSH. So we this platform will help users to you know uh, use AI models directly through our you know web portal rather than they have to go to let's say ChatGPT or Gemini and because. These are, you know, uh, outsourced AI models, right? So, if you put any uh, information which is not, uh, let's say, very sensitive, then that can be a problem. So that's why we created a platform which is our own, and we are, you know, serving it to our users. Yeah. So, Agil, uh, what is the ultimate uh, goal of this AI? Uh, so, are we using in uh, DevOps or cloud? Where exactly are we using this? Okay. So, AI can be used in many ways, guys. So, in cloud and DevOps. So let's say uh, it can be AI ops, resource optimization, right. security, CI/CD optimization. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. So if you want, just let's take an example. So you have a GitHub Action pipeline, mm -hmm. and it failed due to an error. So it can be a Python error, it can be a ML file error. It failed. And what you typically do, you go to your you know uh, pipeline run, and you will check the logs, and you will see what is the error. Correct. And if you don't know what how to solve this error, what you will do, you have to go to internet and search for it. So what you can automate this stuff. You can automate it, uh, this task. So this can be uh, easily done with AI. So what you can do is, so you can simply uh, include AI, uh, which can you know let's say go through your logs. If your build pipeline fails, then it can send you a mail, you know, with all the remit, uh, let's say uh, how what is the issue. Let's say describe the issue, and then just give you how uh, you know let's say points how to solve that issue also. So mm -hmm. this way you have your you know your time saved a lot of time. Saved actually correct, correct. because you don't have to go to manually, you know, check every log and then check what is the, you know, mm -hmm. how to solve that issue okay. in internet. Also. So yeah, this is I think something innovative stuff. So like, uh, how like, how much time we we require for setting this kind of you know solution? Like uh, you mentioned, like we can implement this error, uh, you know, yeah, in in, in uh, error uh, side, right? So how much effort we require for setting this solution? So it depends on what solution you are trying to build. So let's say you, uh, whatever the solution I told you, right? Mm -hmm. If you are doing it very easily, such so as normally, it would take you know 30 minutes, not that mm -hmm. uh, much of time. It can take 30 minutes okay. only. If you know okay. what you are doing, uh, it can take only 30 minutes because it's just you know you are uh, whenever your pipeline fails, you are just forwarding these logs to your AI and asking just uh, you know. Uh, you know, give the whatever the so, uh, issue is and then solve it for you and then send a mail, right? So it can mm -hmm. take 30 minutes. That's it. Right. So, Agil, one mm -hmm. question. So, whenever my pipeline is failing, so I'll get a notification, right? This is the reason your pipeline is failed and these are the remedies or address, like whatever the you know resolution step you can give. So, apart from that, can I heal my application, reheal my application? For example, if my pipeline is broken, okay, and I want to uh, address that issue by using A. So can we do any implementation from A uh, for that? Yes. So I so I would not recommend directly, you know, uh, heal it automatically mm -hmm. without, you know, human intervention as of now. Correct. So because I would say AI is not that much capable now to solve all production issues. Maybe not without human checking because it sometimes may hallucinate or it sometimes may, you know, give you a crap answer which you don't like. So what um, it's possible actually what you are trying to do 
but as i said you know uh, you have to have a ma manual iteration just to check you know if that solution is okay or whatever the ai did is okay but so so can you give a kind of course for my students of yes so i can i can build a course which can, which helps you to understand what ai and how you can use it in your day to day work life in your uh, let's say it can be cloud or devops domain okay. you, i can build a you know course which can help you guys okay, okay. so you are planning in this is kind of a beginner friendly course or like how what about the course uh, structure you are planning so it will start as a basic so i will uh, teach you everything you need to learn uh, from basic on ai okay. and then we can go normally to you know uh, mid level mm -hmm. then okay. if you feel you know you need uh, more advanced then we can get into more advanced but it uh, typically uh, you know depends on how student uh, you know feels okay. yeah so this is i think awesome awesome technology what do you think pradeep uh, about this yeah i think it, it, it's you know it's kind of crazy technology for uh, you know as a devops engineer in cloud engineer yeah because so, we, yeah. we already implemented cloud ops then we came to devops then we moved mm -hmm. to sec ops now we are implementing ml ops and ai ops <laughs> mm -hmm. right correct, so correct. we are covering a wide area over here yeah correct correct i have one more question like uh, you know as a as a beginner like i don't have that much uh, you know developing uh, hands on so can i can i also join in that course or like uh, what what about your opinion agree like if you have a beginner to this mm -hmm. development area correct yes uh, so if you are very beginner uh, let's say you don't know so i will use only python uh, to teach you everything uh, if you need uh, if you are going for coding or something like that mm -hmm. but if you are uh, just say a, a two beginner in python just you can take a small course in python maybe a two hour or three hour course which is available in maybe in uh, youtube or you know some other platforms okay. then you can uh, come to this course but it will be very basic uh, python programming as well i will not give you uh, some hard you know let's say all you know functions are data structures like that but it will be a uh, let's say very uh, basic uh, python programming as well